everyone, welcome back to Leo's Ultimate Gaming. Today I'm gonna be doing a playthrough of a game called Terraria. Um, the game is, for those of you who do not know, it is a blocky, somewhat pixelated role-playing game. Uh, there's bosses, different biomes, and different potions. Uh, there's NPCs. Well, yeah, there's gonna be someone called, or nicknamed as Lana, that's coming into the game with me. You probably won't be able to hear her, but she'll be talking, and I didn't, I could not figure out how I could get it so you could hear her too, but we'll be together in the Terraria world. Without further ado, I'm gonna start explaining about Terraria. So here, I'm going to go to multiplayer, because it's a multiplayer game, and I host and play. I shall create a new character, and you can change their looks, um, and like hairstyles and stuff, which is nice, female or male. Yep. The name of this character is going to be Lev, not Lev, Lev, and create. So I'm going to play. And here, I'm gonna create a new world. It's gonna be the size of the medium. It's gonna be a journey world. Corruption of Chrism. Uh, these are s kind of similar. They both spread throughout the world. They have both different bosses and stuff. Here's Journey, Classic, Expert, Master. I'm doing Journey. I am not a pro, so I might die a lot. Um, yeah, it's a cooperative game, so you should know that. I'm gonna pause and re- um, go back when it's done loading. Okay, we're back here. It has finished, and it's now the Passion of the Dead Beats. Cool. Uh, yes, we want friends and stuff. The password's gonna be one, two, three, and four, so that should be easy enough. I told them that's gonna be one, two, three, four, so, yep. Here's the world. And for those of you who thought it was gonna be very pixelated, uh, it isn't too much pixelated. And apparently, <laughs> yes, there is squirrels. But I ne never had one pop out of a tree like that before, so that was a little silly. <laughs> the sky is falling, the sky is falling. <laughs> More like... I don't know, the squirrels are falling. <laughs> so, you get, and when you chop down trees, you get wood, and acorns. You can plant acorns onto the ground, which is nice. And, yeah, journey mode. Grappling hook. Get it as soon as you go into the game. You get wings, binge staff, hammers, better armor, weapons, torches and stuff. Oh, and <laughs> they have come into the game. I have asked them to use uh, a new character, and they have. And so, uh, you can go into different worlds, because this is one world, you can go with different characters. Um, yeah, that's actually cool about this game. And you have this little mini-map onto the side. Um, while I run, you can see that there's hearts and there's mana. And I got the crimson. Cool, crimson. Yep. Uh, <laughs> In my opinion, the corruption is a lot easier than the crimson, so this should be a lot easier. You have to, you, there's NPCs and they need houses, and there's a way to make, like, if you're really bad at a game, like me, then you might want to uh, duplicate stuff. And so how you duplicate stuff is you go to the power menu. Um, there's all this, but here's the one I'm starting. You go to 
research menu. And for example, for torches, you need 100 torches to duplicate. Research, and you go into your duplication menu, and you have, you can make infinity torches. <laughs> so, yeah, that's awesome. You can do that with many things, but that's too much of a cheat. Okay, and they have duplicated torches, which I see. <laughs> <laughs> so my grappling hook that I equipped in, if you remember, like a moment ago, yep, I just, so right here I'm gonna be chopping down wood, and I'm gonna be looking for as much places in the map, and here's the background, all the worlds get like different backgrounds, we can just drag this around. Yep. <laughs> scroll in, you can scroll out. Yep, and so I'm gonna pause and see if I can just chop down wood and find more of where stuff is. Okay, hi everyone. I finished chopping a ton of wood. Here's a checkpoint, I'm gonna be making a house. But as you can see, all over here is trees, and all over here isn't. Okay, here I am. My house is so far not too much built, but built. So yeah. I am now just making myself a little bit of armor, kind of. Um, yeah, my helmet, my stuff. <laughs> so, here I'm gonna make this is called wall. And you can see it's just what it actually does is makes it one look very pretty. It also keeps. zombies but they kind of look like nothing like zombies so if you're afraid of zombies and you want to get this game that shouldn't actually be because i know some people who have this game that were afraid of zombies once but now that they saw how zombies look in games and stuff they're not afraid to So here's my little house, and yeah. <coughs> I'm gonna make a, a second layer here. Um, yeah. So while I shall get back to you then. Okay, we're here now. So here's my house, my two layered house, and yeah. So this is gonna be nice. Here's our guy Tanner, and yeah, yay! Ah, I forgot. If you hammer a block, you can make it like look pretty, like I did over here. It makes it look a little round. <coughs> so soon, or maybe not soon. <laughs> we um, we're just gonna. I'm just gonna have to try to get some money, and I can show you how to get more NPCs. So different NPCs are require different things that you need to do for them. And lucky me, I have a fallen star. And unlucky me, I'm getting hit by this. But I'm getting money, so that's good. <coughs> fallen stars are good. And later you'll see why. I don't know why I am singing. But I found the disc. Yay. La 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 la. Okay, so here, there is a pond. And so
so that's very lovely. We can have a place to go fishing. And there's like a fish. It's nice. And we found another part of the crimson. It's spreading already. Which is not good. So and I can't I can barely see you, probably like you. You're watching this on YouTube. At least, and it's very dark for you. So, oh, they disappear. When night's over, they disappear. What's down here? So here, um, today I'm gonna be trying to get through one of the bosses. Another one of these. <gasps> A merchant has arrived! <coughs> voila, voila! Here's our NPC right here! And now we can shop stuff from him. Just I don't have any money pretty much. <laughs> I don't have enough money. That's sad. Hmm, which one? There, I just sold him something. Now I can buy... This! <laughs> there, good deal. Oh, more people are arriving. Nice, this is very awesome. Ooh. Cool. There, we have two houses. Life is good, and I have bombs and <laughs> and I'm just gonna be mining a long time, so. Hi, 
guys, I'm one checking with you. I haven't got far, but this is what I have done. Okay, we're back, and this is gonna be the end of the video right after I show you a little tour of what I did. I made a little house here for people to move in. There's gonna be NPCs eventually. There, Like I said earlier, you have to do certain things to have NPCs come, and NPCs are non-player characters. I didn't make it look fancy or anything, but here's that. Here's my little house. Uh, there. And here's my second house. My people living in here. Frank and Tanner. Did you say gold? I'll take it off ya. Um, so, yep. There's just that. And this is my world. And yeah. Just wanted to show you that. And I also wanted to show you, I don't know why, but I wanted to show you, you can catch bugs with a bug net, like a grasshopper. You can use it as bait and stuff. And yeah, kind of the end of the video. Houses, two of them, just dug deep. I got another one of stars, because after you have five fallen stars, you can make a mana crystal. And with that mana crystal, you get like plus 20 of that. This doesn't really go far enough to like be. So, yep, yeah, but yep, yeah, my end of the video. Hope you liked it. Please smash that like button, subscribe, and see you in the next one. Goodbye.